Hey guys, welcome to day 14 of Veganuary. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing three shockingly high protein foods. So I wanted to be sure to talk about protein during Veganuary because if you go vegan, the number one most frequently asked question that you will be asked is, where do you get your protein? People ask me this question all the time when they are not familiar with veganism or basically nutrition. So I wanted to start by saying that the largest animals in the entire animal kingdom actually consume a low protein diet. They consume a fruit-based diet for the most part, which is the diet that I consume as a raw vegan fruitarian. So I wanted to be sure to mention that so that you can have an idea and know that you don't need as much protein as you may think. Our protein requirements are actually quite low. I also wanted to say that our bodies actually don't process protein. Protein is a string of amino acids and that is what our body uses. Every single species has a different combination of amino acids and certain amounts that they need. So I believe we have nine essential amino acids, which means that we need to get those by consuming foods. Now, all whole plant-based foods, so that basically means all plants that are edible that we can find in nature, have different combinations of amino acids. So really, as long as you are getting a wide variety of plants and you are eating plant-based and you're eating different types of foods, you will typically be getting the essential amino acids that you need. So what is a whole food? A whole food is a food that contains all four essential macronutrients, so carbohydrates, fat, protein, and fiber. Fiber doesn't have any calories, um, and this is just based on the people that I studied with, but there are different ways of identifying macronutrients, so some people include water as a macronutrient, some people don't include fiber as a macronutrient, but this is just based on the people that I studied with. So fiber doesn't have any calories, so that means that all whole plant-based foods have some combination of carbohydrates, fat, and protein. That means that all fruit, all vegetables, nuts, seeds, literally everything that you can eat that comes from nature has all of the four essential macronutrients. So you may not think that bananas have protein, but they do, and you may not think that um, lettuce has carbohydrates or that almonds have carbohydrates, but they do. It's just everything has it in different percentages. So I'm sure you guys know that things like nuts, seeds, legumes, um, and yeah, those are basically the things that I'm thinking of off the top of my head that you probably know are high in protein, right? But it's not necessary to consume those types of high protein foods. They're typically also high in fat and our bodies don't actually need that much fat, okay? But you're welcome to do your own research. This is by no means medical advice. This is just based on the studies and the research that I have done um, and basically the way that I align the way that I eat and the foods that I eat. So I did want to mention that there are three foods that I consume that are actually high in protein. So while I do consume a low protein diet, I do include these three foods in my diet, not necessarily because they are high in protein, but just because I like them. But I did want to share with you that in case you happen to be concerned about getting your protein, which like I sort of mentioned, isn't really something that you have to worry about because like I said, as long as you're eating a wide variety of foods, you're getting the essential amino acids that you need and you can definitely use an app like Chronometer to track the foods that you're eating and it will show you the essential amino acids and you'll be able to see if you need more of one or another of them. 
But the three foods that I consume that are actually shockingly high in protein are watermelon. So watermelon tends to be a very high protein fruit. Like not all fruits are high in protein, but watermelon is significantly higher in protein than other fruits. Greens. So I consume a ton of greens, as you guys know, and greens are very high in protein, so it's no coincidence that Popeye ate his spinach and ate a lot of greens because, you know, those are the things that the body will use for the amino acids, right? They are high in protein. And the third thing is spirulina. So if you don't know what spirulina is, it is an algae and it contains a ton of protein. It also has a lot of vitamins and minerals. And in my personal opinion, it's really fun to eat because it is very bright and it depends the different type that you have. It could be like a blue green color, almost like a turquoise color, or it can be blue. So um, last night I actually made uh, the recipe from my TV, it's my TV dinner recipe, which is in my comfort foods ebook that you can find in the video description. And I combined it with the blue spirulina powder that I have from Ellie's Best, because I was experimenting with that and it turned out like a beautiful blue color. So I'll show a picture of the salad that I made with my blue TV dinner recipe right now. I am an affiliate for Ellie's Best because I love their products. Like I mentioned yesterday, they do sell nut milk bags. They also have these powders. And so I have the blue spirulina powder, which is what I used in the recipe. And it's so fun to use because it does turn your foods this beautiful blue color and it doesn't alter the flavor of the food. So it gives you the color, it gives you a ton of essential um, vitamins and minerals. Of course, it gives you a ton of protein. And I do have a coupon code for you guys so you can find that in the video description as well. So I wanted to be sure to cover this topic. There's so much more that I could say about protein, but I just wanted to give you some essential things to get started so that you have a better understanding of protein and what our body actually needs. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I would love to know your comments and questions in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys, see you soon. Bye.